video series about silent letters in English words. So if you want to watch part one, you can watch it here or here. I can't remember where. I never remember where. Anyway, uh, or the link's in the description under this video, so you can find it there. In part one of the video, we went through silent letters that are in the first half of the alphabet, so from A to L. So we've still got half to go. But luckily for you, the letter M is usually pronounced, and so you don't have to worry about the letter M. N, on the other hand, you do have to worry about. Now, before I explain, I want to show you the difference between M and N so that you can hear and you can see the difference in my mouth when I'm explaining because it can get a bit confusing. So M, you'll see that all of my lips are touching all the way along, like in the word mum or, or in M mm English or M. The letter N, my mouth is open actually, and it's my tongue that's doing the work. So my tongue is lifting to the roof of my mouth, behind my teeth. N, N. So now you can see the difference between M and N. It's important because when I'm explaining the silent letter N, it actually is silent when it's next to M. Confusing, huh? Let's look at some examples. <laughs> Dan. Like, damn it. Dan. Autumn. Autumn. Him. Him. A hymn is a song that you sing in church. Him. Column. Column. That's it. The letter P can also be silent in words like receipt, psychology, and psycho. Now remember that P can also be silent or it changes when it's next to a H and together PH can often mean an F sound like in the examples uh, paragraph and telephone. Now the letter R is not silent in American English but it can be in British English and also Australian English. If you think about words like butter, butter, the R at the end of the word is not pronounced. Now an S can also be silent and I know that you've already struggled with this one, island, island, debris, debris, and isle. The bride walked down the aisle. So an S can be a little bit sneaky, that one. Now the letter T can also be a bit sneaky and it can also be silent. Like in these examples, and there's quite a few. Listen, listen, castle, castle. Ballet, ballet, soften, soften, gourmet, gourmet, asthma, asthma, Christmas, Christmas. Whistle, whistle, cheeky little tea.
Now the letter U can also be silent. And I bet you didn't think of that letter when we started talking about silent letters in English, but it's quite common. Have a look at all of these examples of really common English words. Words like guitar and guilty and tongue and guard, colleague, guess. It's also not usually pronounced in adverbs like beautifully, wonderfully. The letter W is silent when it's at the start of a word before the letter R, like wrong and wrist, wrist, and right or wrote. It's also not pronounced in these common words, who, whoever, whole, two, sword, and answer. Well, that's it for silent letters and for the silent letter series. If you've got any questions or comments, just put them into the comments section under this video so I can get back to you. Check out my website if you want to study with me and you're interested in online courses or jump over to my Facebook page and make sure that you follow my page. I do live lessons every week. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again. Okay, so this this is part of the class we saw and I'm recording again because in because I I lost the recording. So I'm gonna look for a picture that we just dis we laugh about it <laughs> before before um, finishing the, the session yesterday. I mean um on Friday. So let's see. Um, we just finished with, uh, with the word cougar. A cougar literally means this. Significa que es un puma. But as a slang, como un slang, significa otra cosa. Un cougar is this. Alguien me dijo que a cougar, ella lo veía como una sugar mom, una <laughs> sugar mommy. Y sí, tiene razón. Yo la conocí en tiempo atrás como una saltacuna. En español podría ser de esa forma, saltacunas. Entonces, el meaning es an older woman seeking a sexual relationship with a younger man. Um... There are so many cougars at the bar. It sometimes makes me feel uncomfortable. Aquí les dan lo que es el significado y luego abajo hay un, un pequeño ejemplo, ¿ok? De cómo usar cougar. Les repito, cougar puede ser eh, un slang o al mismo tiempo puede ser un, 